Okay, hello. We're going to keep going with the slideshow. So this is now the a total of three different slideshows. The reason this one is different, well, let me just run through real fast because it doesn't look any different than my previous one. So if you press next, it goes on to the next slide. It has a little bit of a different transition, which I'll show you how that works. Um, and it still has the play, uh, automatic, and, and stop, and everything like that. So why is it different? Well, let's go take a look at... Okay, um, where is it at? Okay, the previous slideshow I had, this was the JavaScript. And notice that the images that I wanted to use are actually defined in an array in the JavaScript file. Now, you're not always going to want to do that because this JavaScript, all of this code, is only useful for these three images. And if you wanted to use a different, you wanted to have another slideshow with different images, that's fine. You, but you'd have to, you'd have to, you know, redefine this array, which is fine. But then you'd have to have all of this um, linked to your your HTML page again. And so every time you have a slideshow, different uh, different images, you need all of this, and that can be kind of a hassle. So what I want to do now is I want to define or create uh, an image slideshow where all the images are defined in the HTML page. And then we'll just have this job, you know, basically we're going to have all of that. So you'll, I mean, it will be very different than this. But now you'll have a JavaScript file that just contains the code and the logic to, you know, do all your transitions. And the HTML page will contain all of the images. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so we have our CSS, I'm going to call JQ slideshow.js, <coughs> CSS, sorry. All right, so let's have our slideshow div. Um, now I'm going to position this relative to wherever it's going to be. Uh, the height, I'm going to define it as 300 pixels, and then I'm going to have a set width as well at 500 pixels. And then I'm going to put a border around this, uh, two pixels solid black. That's it for the outside div. Then we're going to have a slideshow image, uh, some CSS rules here. Uh, one, I'm going to position this absolute. Explain that in a second. Uh, top zero and left zero. OK, and then a Z index of eight. All right, so what's going on here? This position absolute is force, and then this top zero and left zero is basically, it's forcing every image you put in your slideshow to stack on top of each other to be all positioned. Let's say that up here, this is your top left of your browser. All the images are going to be right here on top of each other, all of them having a Z index of eight. Next, we'll do slideshow, let's do image, and then I'm going to have an active. What this is going to do is it's going to be my current image that's showing, so the one that you see when you're viewing the slideshow. And I'm going to put an index on of 10. Now the reason I'm putting it 10 is that I want this one, the current image, the active one, to be in front of all the other ones, so that way you can see it. Then we'll have Okay, I'm going to do slideshow image previous. Now what this is going to do is once you move on to the next image, what's going to happen with the one you just came from? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to put a Z index of 9 on it. The reason why we don't want it to go back to 8 is because if it goes back to 8, then it's going to be kind of like on the same level as every other image that's not being shown, which means when the previous image disappears to have the next image like animate in, you know, fade in. Well, as it's fading in, what image is supposed to be showing at that time? Well, if you make the index 8 like all the other images, it may flicker back to one of the other images or maybe the, probably the first image in your list. Um, so you don't want that to happen. So what's going to happen is when you move on to the next slide or the next image, your previous one will go to an index of 9 meaning that when you have your new image you know, fading in, you still actually see the previous image. And then your new image gets, well, the Z index of 10 gets, makes it stack on top of 
your previous image. So we'll, we'll play around with that a little bit. Uh, but that's it for the CSS. So let's start the uh, HTML. Okay, so I have the basics right now. Um, I have three external uh, files listed here. You can see that I have my style sheet, I have the jQuery um, JavaScript file, and then the one that we're going to write in a moment. All right, so then let's just put together the HTML here. Um, we're going to open up with that slideshow. And then inside this div, you would put all your images. So I'll write out the first image. Now the first image, I want to put a class of active so that it's my first image I see. And I'm going to use all the images I've been using in my previous ones. So I'll put a width of 500 and a height 300. OK. And then we'll have the next two images. So I have the same three images I've been using. So I got Sam, chalkboard, and the Venn diagram. After that, what I want to do is I want to put in a table where I'm going to have my controls, uh, the previous, the next, and the uh, automatic play button. So let's do let's do the previous button first. So it's going to do JavaScript and then colon and then the function I want to call so change image and since I'm, it's previous I want to send it back one in the slideshow so that's where the negative one comes from so I'll say previous and then I'll have my next so it's going to call the same function so change image but I'm going to have a one there because it's going to go forward in the slideshow and I'll say next and then this one, if you watch the previous videos, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an ID of play stop. And I'll explain that when we actually get to the setting the automatic um, automatic slideshow. So we'll wait on that. Uh, but I, when I do click on that, I want to call the function auto. No parameter. And then, oops, uh, what do I want to call this? Oop. There we go. Uh, let's just call this play for now. OK, I think that's it for the HTML. Uh, let's double check. Yep. OK, so before we start the JavaScript, let's just take a look at what we have. So if we refresh. OK, so we have our first image, Sam. I have my previous next and play button. None of them work yet, uh, but it looks like everything is OK. Not sure what that is up there, but we can take a look at that in a second. All right, so let's go back to JavaScript. All right.